The Spirit of Tasmania project um, required some unique solutions. One, we were given a short time frame, only five months to complete the project, which required the total repurposing of two large Ropax vessels the other side of the world. So we had to look to act collaboratively with partners in Tasmania um, and with our supply chain um, and our uh, foreman and project managers to deliver the project on time and on budget. And we've been delighted how well it's turned out. When taking on a project, a project over the other side of the world has got to be one of the most challenging and it soon became apparent that our logistics teams would have to really work hard to make this run smoothly and their performance was outstanding. Over a hundred shipping containers were moved, numerous flights and air cargoes arranged to make sure that everything was delivered on time um, when needed. Um, the ships both went back into service on schedule, uh, the second ship actually three days ahead and that was down to our logistics and our resource management teams working with our project managers to deliver the outcome. We're now in the Tasmanian Market Kitchen and this area has undergone one of the biggest transformations on board. Previously it was a traditional buffet and a all, all seated um, waiter service restaurant and we've totally changed it. It's a now an airy, light, open, modern dining experience featuring the local produce. We worked very closely with the hotel and catering operations team to design what they've been absolutely delighted with and the customer feedback is superb. The quality of the installation and the flexibility has really delivered something exceptional. The Tasmanian Market Kitchen is a great example of collaboration. The server units were made in the UK uh, to our designs. Um, the glass and the glazing and the doors were sourced locally in Tasmania from a great company that, that put them together. The flooring was done locally and the deck heads um, were from a team of in specialist installers. And Trimline totally coordinated that and planned it for its delivery and installation. We're on deck seven now and this is the main open eating area um, which is served by the Tasmanian Market Kitchen. We've now got a very big, open, airy space where before it was a very closed, small encapsulated areas. And I think the transformation has been very successful. From a logistics or from our challenges, we had to strip out everything that was existing in this area, put in new flooring, new deck heads, uh, new tables, new walkways throughout, um, as well as redecorating all existing spaces. And that was a big challenge with a big team of people working on it, but the outcome uh, and the customer experience has all been worth it. The lighting in this area is particularly spectacular. Um, there's feature lighting, um, there's um, unique handmade wooden lights in this area and copper balustrade lights which uh, light up the TMK or the Tasmanian Market Kitchen to give it a real wow factor. Um, all of that was designed, developed and, and made and procured by ourselves. Deck 9 for us was very similar to um, the challenges that we faced. It was a, an area that wasn't successful in its previous um, environment. It required us to strip it back to complete steel and then with the contractors we put in the flooring, um, the astroturf carpeting which gave it an indoor-outdoor feel and great lighting and really brought a bar that was an existing bar to life through recladding it and reimagining it and now this is an open functioning area which is popular at night. We're on deck 10 now and this area has really undergone one of the largest transformations on board the ship. What was quite an uninviting open area um, which used to have a large pool in it, we've totally transformed through the removal of um, the steel structure of the pool, putting in a new deck and a new flooring and some quite magnificent deck heads and sails which really make this a very light, open, airy and inviting place to be. The complexity of this project meant that we had to have uh, a strong management team on board, not only managing the workflow and the work cycles, but really also focused on the health and safety and the working environment. Safety for us is paramount, and I'm pleased to say that we delivered an exceptional project without any significant accidents at all. I'm so proud of this, this job. I mean, this is the biggest job that Trimline have ever undertaken. And it's 50 uh, years of this year. Um, so we've been, um, we've been absolutely delighted with uh, winning the job in the first place and now delivering it and seeing it finished is, is just an immense for, for the whole company, but particularly myself, it's just wonderful. Trimline are absolutely delighted with this project. Um, the collaborative nature went very well. 
We've learned things that we will use going forward because I don't think anyone has done a project like this in the past and we know that we can deliver exceptional refits going forward. Now, this contract has put Trimline into a, a different league and uh, we're able to do contracts like this now all around the world with confidence.